All right, I thought I'd take a little side trip from Lake Louise before giving you a tour of the village and, and Lake Louise itself. And there's another lake here called Lake Moraine, and it is about 15 kilometers from the uh, village where I was uh, just at a few minutes ago. And I'm on my way up this, uh, it's a winding road, if you will, but it's a beautiful, spectacular scenery as I drive around these uh, winding mountain roads. And you can see, he's talking of mountains, you can see the mountains just right right up there. So it should be a beautiful, uh, beautiful lake. I looked it up on, on Google prior to uh, making the trip up, and I'm... Uh, probably just a, a short distance from being there. I don't know if the sun's going to be out or not, but uh, I certainly hope so. Sure is a pretty drive though, that is for sure. Alright, I made it up to the parking lot and, uh, you know, interestingly enough, I thought I was going to be quite early. It's just after 7 a.m. here and I thought that, uh, you know, I thought that perhaps <laughs> You know, I might find a somewhat empty parking lot, but uh, not the case. See all types of campers here from all around the world. Tourists, I should say. Not everybody's a camper like myself. But uh, you see people here like these guys that are probably backpackers or, or mountain climbers that uh, are getting ready for a day here in, in uh, Moraine Lake and uh, Banff National Park. So let's go see the lake. I see there's a sign for the lodge, Moraine Lake Lodge, just up ahead. All right, so here is Moraine Lake Lodge, and I'm sure that's a beautiful place to stay as it's situated right on the lake itself. So here is Moraine Lake. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I see a sign here for the uh, lodge where they welcome visitors. They've got a deli and a gift shop and we've got a dining room. You can rent canoes if you'd like to. Well, here it is. Look at that. Sure it looks a lot more beautiful on a bright sunny day. Moraine Lake is visited by thousands each in summer, but Samuel Allen was the first in 1894 and word spread quickly. Adventurer Samuel Allen was suitably impressed. He named the peaks lining the south side of the valley after the Stony Indian numerals 1 to 10 of the lake. I saw at the base of number one, Mount Hiji, a grand and gloomy, gloomy lake reflecting in its dark surface the walls and hanging glaciers of Mount Hiji. He named the lake Hiji. However, his friend Walter Wilcox later renamed, renamed it Moraine. There you go, Lake Moraine. All right, just to the left of where I did the previous video is this trail. And this trail, hopefully, is going to take me up and around on these rocks and give me a much nicer view of the lake from, from up there. You can see the lodge is right back over there. Alright, I'm almost to the top. And as you can see, this is a uh, dog-friendly park. I can imagine the views from up here are going to be quite, uh, quite beautiful. All right, I made it to the to the top, and will you look at that view? Wow! How beautiful is that? Just gorgeous. It's like a beautiful 
emerald green. Wow. That is just beautiful. Look at that. What a, uh, what a beautiful sight, that is for sure. And the signs here says, uh, colors of life. The color palette of Marine Lake changes with the season, time of day and weather. Meltwater entering the back of Moraine Lake is milky gray from the influx of racial rock flower. The color shifts to cobalt blues and chrome greens as the rock flower disperses in the lake. Just beautiful. <laughs>